This time we're going to show how to use Graphic Tracer to turn a low resolution web graphic into a perfect original for printing, sign cutting, or almost any other purpose. We start by opening the Tiny League logo. This logo may look good in a corner of a web page, but when you enlarge it, you will immediately see that it can't be used for any other purpose. The logo needs to be converted into a vector graphic that can be resized without any loss in quality. To do this, Graphic Tracer needs to know the colors that are part of this graphic. Graphic Tracer can detect this automatically most of the time. We click Automatic to extract the solid colors of the image. If an extra color is picked, you simply click it and hit Delete to remove it. Click Process to view which areas get which color. Next, click Convert to Vectors. Considering the low resolution, we got a pretty good trace from this image. The graphic doesn't look too bad at a glance, but when we zoom in, we can see that it's still going to require some work to make it perfect. The contours aren't parallel and the text is still a bit rough. With Graphic Tracer, we can fix everything in just a few minutes. We start by selecting one of the texts and click Identify Font and Replace option. We select Angled Text and click Next. Now we will check to make sure that all of the characters are right. Beneath capital letters, there's a small shift key symbol. This tells us that a letter is uppercase. If there are numbers, a small number sign will appear. This way we can easily distinguish between a number one and a capital I or lowercase l, or whether a capital O is identified as a zero. In this text, you can see we have to correct a letter to make it a capital I. We then click Next. When Graphic Tracer identifies a font, it displays the suggested typeface right on top of the vectorized text so you can see that it's a good match. Fonts that you own are marked with green so you can easily see which ones you can use for automatic replacement. We select it and see that it's also a good match. If you want, you can easily adjust the position of the characters before you replace the text. Click Replace to swap the vectorized text for the correct font. Now we select the second text and click Identify Font and Replace. Select Angled Text and if necessary you can adjust a baseline so that it follows the bottom of the text. Click Next to proceed. This time the characters can't be identified so we're going to have to type all of them into the correct boxes. When a font is identified we can see it's a perfect match and since we own it we can directly click Replace and make it perfect. Now both of the text in the image have been replaced with the right font. The last one was a script font. This means the letters that are overlapping will be disconnected. We can easily fix this using the Weld tool. First click Edit Objects and then the Shaping option. Here we select Weld and click Apply. The intersecting parts of the selected text are now joined. Now that the texts are perfect, we will fix the surrounding contours by automatically recalculating them from the correct font. We select both texts since the contour effects are around both of them. We then go to Replace Objects and find the Replace Contour option. The program suggests a distance for the contour. When we click Preview, we immediately see what the suggested contour will look like. The red contour is the calculated outline and the black contour is the object that will be removed if I click Apply. It appears that 0.04 inches is a bit too small, so we'll increase that outline to 0.05 inches and click Preview again. Now the preview looks better, so we click Apply to remove the old vectorized contour and replace it with a new perfectly calculated one. If we assume that the contours should be at even distances, we need to change the contour offset to 0.10 inches to replace the second contour. We will then click Preview to see how it looks. It looks pretty good, but there is one object that should be removed that isn't black. Simply click that object to turn it on and off for replacement. Now click Apply to replace the second contour. To fix the outermost contour, we'll set the distance to 0.15 inches and click Preview. Click any objects that shouldn't be removed that aren't black and click Apply. The text and the contours are now perfect in the logo, and all we have to fix now are the stars. When we click Adjust Shapes, we access the Node Editing tool in Graphic Tracer. Straight lines are green and curves are drawn in red so that you can easily tell them apart. Simply double click on a line to convert it between a straight line and a curve. One of the nibs needs to be converted to a corner, 
To do this, we simply select the closest nodes and then use the Convert to Corner option. When you hold the cursor over this option, you see a preview of what will happen when you click. Now we will select the good half of the star and mirror it to make a perfect symmetrical star. When we hover over the mirror horizontal option, we can see a preview of what will happen to the other half of the star when we click. We want to make the other red star look exactly the same. So instead of copying, resizing, and then removing the small star, we will simply transfer the shape from the good star using the Copy Shape tool. Click Replace Objects and select Copy Shape to Object tool. Everything that you click on will get the same shape as the selected object. When you point at something, a preview is shown of what the object will become. When we point at the small red star, you can see that the replace shape is too large. But if you hold down the shift key, the size is automatically recalculated. Now when we click, we will have two identical stars of different sizes. The only thing left to fix is the blue star. We go back to the adjust shapes and quickly fix the upper left corner of the star. We then select the three nodes in this part and point at the mirror symmetrical option. A preview of a fully symmetrical star is shown. We click and the whole logo is finished and ready for use. We can now export the graphic in a variety of formats to use in any other graphic software. It can be enlarged to any size and the results will always be perfect.